So here we need uh, to answer two questions. The first one, which is the equation for the familiar quadratic functions with x intercept 3 and negative 2? So uh, if we know that x intercept at 3 and negative 2, that means that f, f of 3 is equal to 0 and f of negative 2 is equal to 0 as well. Uh, that means that f of x f of x is equal to x minus 3, so x minus the first x-intercept, times x minus negative 2, which is x plus 2. Let's simplify it. We get that f of x is equal to x squared plus 2x minus 3x minus 6. Well, let's simplify it again. We get that f of x is equal to x squared minus x minus 6. Well, uh, if we need to find, so basically uh, our, equa our quadratic equation will look like this, x squared minus x minus 6 equal to 0. But the family of, as a family of quadratic functions will look like this. So it will be f of x is equal to a times x squared minus x minus 6. So where a is some number, some integer. Well, let's get to the part 2. Here we know the roots of our um, the roots of our equation, which are x equals 3 and x equals 5. But we also know, we also know that um, the function contains the point 1 and negative 24. And we need to find an equation for this quadratic function. Uh, well, similarly, uh, if these are the roots, that means that uh, x minus 3 and x minus 5 are the factors of our function. So f of x is equal to some coefficient a times x minus 3 times x minus 5. Um, uh, well, but we know that it passes through the point 1 and negative 24, so we can substitute those values. We know that we substitute uh, negative 24 instead of y, and we substitute x with 1. So it will be 1 minus 3 times 1 minus 5. Let's simplify it. We get that negative 24 is equal to a times negative 2 times negative 4. That means that negative 24 is equal to 8a. So that we get that a is equal to negative 24 over 8, which is negative 3. Uh, great. Uh, if we, uh, since we have found our a, we can write down that f of x is equal to negative 3 times x minus 3 times x minus 5. Now, now let's write it down in a standard form. So uh, we will do the multiplication here. f of x is equal to negative 3 times x squared minus 3x minus 5x plus 15. And this whole thing is equal to negative 3x squared uh, plus 24x minus 45. So this is our final answer. This is our function. And that means that our equation looks like this. This thing is equal to zero.